Hey folks, this is Rich and you're with Beekeeping with Rich. Uh, so recently we had a hurricane come through down here and luckily it was pretty much a non-event with us. It turned a little away from us. Here I got about three and a half inches of rain. Uh, got reports from people in other areas of the county that got as much as 12 inches of rain. Which will be six weeks ago by the time this is released. Which will be six weeks ago by the time this is released, and I don't know why that's important. Uh, but the thing is that uh, nothing overtaxed our drainage systems down here. Everything's fine. But I still thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and talk about protecting your bees if mosquito control has to activate and come out and uh, do extra treatments. Now, here in Broward County, the primary method of dealing with mosquitoes is aerial spraying with BTI. BTI means Bacillus thuringiensis israeliensis. It is a particular variety of uh, Bacillus thuringiensis that uh, attacks, it's a larvicide, it attacks the uh, swimmers in the water and kills them off. Uh, the primary adult insecticide used is uh, various pyrethroids. Now, the neat thing about the pyrethroids that they use is that they can't spray them until full dark. I mean, you have sunset, but then you have the dusk when the light's still reflected. Even the reflected light after dark is enough to neutralize this insecticide. So once it's full dark, they will spray this material either aerially or by trucks. And uh, that could impact your bees. But the thing is the next morning, as soon as the sun's up, the material is neutralized by the action of the sunlight. And by the time the bees are ready to go out foraging, it's no longer an issue. But you just have to protect your bees overnight as it were. And I want to show you how I do that. And this is a case of be prepared ahead of time. This little box right here, see what it says on the front label? Bee sheets. Don't wait until you need it. Go to the thrift store now and buy a couple of sheets or however many hives you have. Get some sheets and just put them somewhere so that you have them so that you know when the phone call comes presumably as a beekeeper you should be on your county's list to not have your home directly sprayed and to be notified anytime they're going to do aerial spraying with anything that could be a problem uh, i'm certainly on that list our county is very responsible about calling up and saying every now and then hey are you still keeping bees, do we still need to have you on the list? And yes, we do, and they're very good about calling. But uh, I'll show you what I've come up with here. Uh, found a bunch of these on sale in winter one year. They were getting rid of them. They work perfectly. You put one here. If you wonder why, when we're not actually messing with the bees, why I have a bee suit on, it's because these supers all got robbed out by me yesterday, or the day before yesterday, in one case and the other. So I have a bunch of very pissed bees. I mean, they're very happy and they're cleaning them up, but uh, I'll be taking them off here in another day or two once they've got them nicely cleaned up for me. But they're not happy about the fact that we did that. And that's it. That is sufficient. Well, one more thing. That's sufficient to protect your bees from what's going to go on overnight. Now, obviously, you go out and you put this on right as we're coming up to dark. As you can see, how unhappy they're getting really quick here. Hey, where's the entrance? But uh, put this on towards dark. Go out first thing in the morning, right after the sun has hit it. Take it off. 
you're good to go. You're safe. Bacillus thuringiensis is not a danger to your bees. They can drink water that has it in it. You know, you can go get your mosquito dunks at Home Depot. It's the same thing. If you have standing water that you want to keep them out of, you don't have to worry about your bees drinking from it. All right, ladies. All right, so that's pretty much it. Bacillus thuringiensis is safe around your bees if they aerial sprayed or whatever, but if they're going to spray pyrethroids, just remember the word pyrethroids, that's dangerous. Uh, in rare occasions, they will use some organophosphate materials. I was just speaking with the head of Broward County Mosquito Control a couple of minutes ago, uh, Dr. Dugama, and he uh, says that they haven't had to use any of the organophosphates in a little more than two years that he's been there. Uh, so far, there hasn't been any outbreaks down here that were sufficient to warrant that level of uh, application. So that's it. It's just that simple. Yeah, you can just drive a stake in the ground if you need to, whatever you got. I like this because it's nicely rounded. Use a clothespin on it. This is just a nice setup for it. It's quick, it's fast to do, as long as you are prepared ahead of time. Proper plan, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Get yourself a bin, put some sheets in it from the thrift store, and you know, don't worry about it. That way, you don't have to worry about somebody going, "Well, you got my sheets all dirty." Now we got to put them all through the wash. Yeah, just have bee sheets. You got bee shit? Have bee sheets too. So that's it. This has been Rich with Beekeeping with Rich. Like and subscribe.